Hello everybody, welcome back. In the last episode we started construction of our airship and now we have finished it. The very first airship is now online, more or less. And, well, I can't connect or kind of like... Oh yeah, there it is. Perfect. Now, that is some pretty ship there. Even though it looks pretty cold up there. I don't know, everything looks cold here. And with that... We wait until she finishes her speech there, and yeah, we need to now fly to the HMS Hades over here with our airship on its way now. Beautiful. That's really cool there, and can we... Ah, yeah, it's also exploring everything here. Much faster too than a ship would do that, and with that, as we can see, we can now go up here to those plateaus, and yeah, could start constructing... Oh yeah, look at that. If I go over one of those plateaus here, I could then start constructing it. And it costs a bit of timber and a bit of steel. Actually, not that much. But that's a good thing. We do have enough of that, so we can start constructing that one here. Because Old Nate also gave us a quest here. Old Nate provided you with enough gas to build your first airship. Alrighty. So we could do that then and solve his quest, but let's do the first main quest here first. Now that you have an airship to soar above the clouds, your search for the lost expedition can finally continue. Lady Faithful asks you pick up the trail from the last known location. The last, the abandoned HMS Hades, and we can now start the search there. Let's do that. Follow the ice follow the tracks of the icebreakers. So that's over here. Let's just see where it goes. Oh, there's something. Someone died here, probably. We need to pick it up, though. Where's my ship? Sir John's log entries. Read the notes. April 26, 1848. We've been forced to abandon the HMS Styx and HMS Hades. We waited the entire summer for the thaw, but the weather gods were against us. They're still stuck fast in the ice. I'm certain we can still find the NW passage by foot, walking inland. We've filled two lifeboats with essential supplies and we'll pull them over the snow like sleds. When next we find water, it will be a passage to the east. Then the lifeboats can row us to safe haven. And May 4th, the man tired dragging two lifeboats was perhaps ambitious, so they've been stopping to rest at regular intervals. I've ordered that all remaining supplies be trusted to one of the lifeboats from now on, giving us double the pulling power. Despite setbacks, morale is good and we've lost no man since winter on Baffling Island. Okay, let's continue. And they were walking around here. Look at that sight. So beautiful. Oh, there is a bigger camp over here. Looks abandoned. We are at crossroads. To determine the best way forward, a Senate team led by Commander H. Sturgeon through the canyon to the north. A second team went over the snow dunes to the west. No team has yet returned. Camp supplies are becoming rather scarce. I think we'd even gobble up those seals the Inuit offered us now. And only two of the three teams have returned. I fear the worst has befallen Edgar Couch's team. Oh man, it's hard out here. Cruel. The rest of us are, are to move without delay. The sacrifice will not be wasted if we make it. Commander Surgeon reports that this canyon tapered to a dead end. God thank him. We'll take the path he took. Oh, right, that is in the thing here. So, um, more promising, we'll take the path he took, the Yeu, and the Yeu where went, went over the snow dunes to the west. So here. This is where we should be going. Nope, that looks like a dead end though. Oh, it continues over here. Yeah, there's someone dead lying here. Right. 
There's still a path here though, we can follow. There is something. But then again, dead end. At these glaciers here. Oh, they were actually trying to get up here, look at that. Let's have a look at the notes there. Perhaps the warnings of these Inuit had worth. The ice desert has been treacherous and we've lost both man and equipment. I see darkness in the eyes of the living now that their companions lie buried. If you knew that we are also at the end of our supplies, you might understand their anger. But they are loyal men and know they cannot hope to survive long. They will only challenge me if I admit defeat and that I refuse. A sheer mountain lies ahead. I have had to stifle my shock at its sudden appearance and at the perilous climb we must now undertake, for morale among the men is already low. I would not appear in my right mind as their leader if I asked them to return their face the horrors of the desert we had all thought behind us. No, we climb, and meeting as at the summit, I believe, will be a view upon the shimmering water of a northwest passage that shall sate the hunger. Up here we go. Another dead one. Your people are starting to get sick. Another camp over here. Lost my best man, Commander Sturgeon, in the mountains. Poor man was too anxious to prove me right. Some made it, but all hungry and desperate. You need shovel loads to fuel your belly up here, and we have no food at all. There were grunts and growls in the night. Either we eat the resident bears, or they eat us. Bears in the mountains, there is something here. Oh, a walrus for the Sioux. And it looks like they're going in here now. Oh, oh, there are bears. <laughs> Doesn't look so good. There are bears down here. I can't. Select them though. There's the bear cave. Also with dead men lying around here. Let's continue. More dead men. Well, quite a lot of men though. That is looking really dangerous up here now. More dead men over here. There's something. Sir John has entrusted me, Lieutenant Commander Remy de Yeux, with the completion of his log, as he is no longer has the strength to put pen to paper. Still, there likely won't be many more entries left for me to write. We are no longer killed by bears, but have been lost days and weeks in high valleys. They all look the same, having lost our camp compass. We are now only six, Captain John Faithful, an assistant surgeon, and myself. The boy lives because he is a good lad and none of us could suffer to eat of him. The bear meat never was going to last, you see. Sir John did have a swear never to speak of that shame, but who does he think he will, we will tell? Okay, let's continue down here. Another dead one, that makes it five. Another note. Sir John speaks again. He says the silhouette of a great wolf came to him in his sleep and that he wishes to meet us. Our pack is down to three. We shall remember Sergeant Little and Hoxton. We shall remember the others who tripped and fell, who froze, who fell ill, who starved, who drowned, who were maimed by bears, who slipped on high or fell through the cracks. And we shall remember those who, when we ran out of food, 
drew the short straw in vain. If a passage exists, we have not found it, but though he is mad, I will accompany Sir John to the end. The ferocious ship's boy Irving is our guardian spirit, the same who, with superhuman strength, was able to fend off grown men in the snow who were after his legs for supper. Okay, there are two ways here. I think I need to return there again. I could simply go to press. Boot doesn't add All right, I need to do that here. That looks that is looking pretty good here. And the ship was bought, and that gives us no effect. Anything else? Then I'll send it out. Okay, the, where, they, where did they went here? We'll come in at the you end. The first is ship boy. Superhuman strength, uh, able to fend. Likes for supper. Doesn't say that, right? Silhouette of a great wolf. Let's just continue down here. But I don't see anything in the notes that tells us where we need to go. Oh, this is the end of it, okay. And we can certainly not build anything up here. Let's go over here. Oh, and there's still someone alive. Three people. Too late. They're all dead. My impudence before the gods. We were doomed from the beginning. My stubbornness. My vile, reckless ambition. I should have died out there with them. I should have died. Exile condemned to this twilight plane for eternity. Say whatever you like, John. I did everything I could to find you and have absolutely no intention of giving up now. I never could have you. I am sorry about Sir John. He's had a hard time. They all have. I am ever so grateful to you. And do not think I have forgotten your reward. But for now, I must get my dear husband home. Alrighty, and with that climax, we have finished, I think, the main quest. Sir John Faithful found. Sir John and Lady An Jane reunited. Lady Faithful praises crucial work for of Nevarius. Three he heroic survivors returned. I've never struggled. To loved ones at long last. Sir John Faithful, decorated for his courage, courageous leadership, claims they partook in anthropopathy, vehemently denied. They definitely did not eat one another. Didn't eat each other. <laughs> Gotta be pulling my leg. Uh -oh, too soon. And here they ended. There is no passage after all. We could now go around here. And she wants to give me something. Oh yeah, high mountains here now. So let's get our airship back there again, those poor souls up there. Yeah, so there's really just ice up here. Now, what's that? I promised I would reward you, and now I have. And thank you. Thank you for bringing back my dear John. Wow, really cool. A legendary for the museum. Battle deck to attention. Hades. And we also got the achievement here, the Lost Expedition. And I think we got something else for the airship then. On one of my Orders. ships. There it is. Movement speed 20% and loading speed for the airship. Right, so we still have, of course, another quest here. Great Sir William Perry had to abandon his ship too. HMS Angry Wrath. 
Oh, that's interesting. We get lost expedition scraps. No idea what I can do with that. I can still recite the coordinates of the angry wrath by heart. So there is something else that we need to find. Where's my airship? There it is. Let's get over here. Seems like there is something else we need to find. And yeah, we do have some nice items there for crown falls. That I also want to install, of course. Well, let's just see what's behind there. Vestiges of greatness. Oh, there is something. Expedition scraps. So I think we can craft something with that. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps I will need to rebuild or build up the space here. And then he sells me something. There is something. HMS Angry Wrath. HMS Angry Wrath. Such history. Oh, uh, yes, of course. The, the scrap will be useful too. Uh, why not take it to Old Nate? Alrighty, let's go over there. Heading set. I mean, we do have it, hopefully. I, I don't see it here, but there's nothing else to collect there anymore. Sail to Old Nate's workshop. Which is over here then. Very good. And Aye. yeah, I still want to wait for the walrus there. And we could, yeah, we could actually build another airship there. We just need some sails. So we got a few plateaus here now where we could get the ice or the gas from it. Only a handful of islands to settle on though. This one here will be the next one, I guess. And this one, this is bigger. But let's just read what happens now at Old Nate's workshop. Oh, this is some scrap from William Perry's failed expedition. Still good for a lot of things. I bet there's more scrap out there from all the other failed expeditions. Bring it here, and I'll transmute it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's You've his workshop the there, the flying one. What do you want? Okay, there he got some items for the Arctic Lodge. So items that we can use then. And I think... Oh yeah, I can craft them then. Put them on here and they cost me some scraps then and some brass then. Okay, and I guess with new quests I will be able to get more scraps to purchase those items that will increase my production and happiness of my people there. So let's... Wait for the airship, there it is, to come back home. We want to get the, that walrus there on the warehouse, perfect. And let's take the battle cruiser, oyster catcher. And oyster catcher is going to take the walrus and the rest, the other cool items there. Oh, right, this item we don't need, that's for the airship. Your city has grown more beautiful. And let's go home. Airship. And we can equip that item there. On the airship then. Perfect. Makes it a bit faster. And Wait, now we oh. just... Actually, we have everything, I think, for the plateau. So let's get some goods here. Some timber and some steel beams. Let's actually get two timber there. So perfect. Let's go for one of those plateaus then. This is looking quite all right. Or is that better one? This is looking more pretty, right? Yeah, let's go to this one here. We got more deposits here and it's looking prettier. And there we'll want to build our first trading post. And we do have the influence, the money, the two resources. That should be enough. I should go back to the old wall real quick though, because the Admiral. This city is a magnet for genius. Glad you like it. What now? Dolores the diplomat. Your people are starting to get sick. Workforce a smaller one. We still have a happy population and I haven't forgotten about the jewelry and stuff like that. Alright, and we do have quite the plague here. I've sent my ship over here to Endor so we can build a hospital. One over here and one over here. 
to hospitals to treat my people here. And then we can also expand the city here, which is also quite nice looking there. I like the church with the garden there. I don't like those ruins here, obviously. Alright, here we are. Trading post. Let's get on this plateau here. How are you going to manage all of those outposts? <laughs> there we have it. He's furious. And right, we got a bit of timber, a bit of steel. No idea what else we can do here, though. I think... Is this for real? We actually need to get people up here. Yeah, I think we need to... Get those people up here. Yep. So we need to build up a little settlement up here. The problem is we have no resources up here. So we need to um, get everything up here and have the airship as a trader in between. This is going to be whew, a lot of work. Since the gas mine actually needs technicians. They don't need normal explorers there. So we need to transport everything up here. Most importantly, coal, food... And something, of course, for the warmth Altitude as well. Stable. I don't think one airship will be enough, though. We'll build a second one. We do need a few sails, though. I yes. should have... Let's see. Yeah, there's a ship. Let's get the ship back the to Crown Falls. And abandoned. let's also get some sails, then, that we need. Your and some resources. Are starting to get sick. Okay, so that's fine here now. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of work. I can see that already. While that is happening in the background, let's have a look there real quick at our gold and our pearls that we have here. We have we are full on pearls now and are also receiving some gold. Um, we already have goldsmiths here as far as I know. There they are. Five of them. Let's get two more. for that and then we can have the jewelers and we should have that close to do we have I electricity have here I yes we do there's the electricity how much oil do we have brown falls oh pretty uh, enough quite enough there perfect so let's have those jewelers close to that power station there since they will be getting a lot of electricity from it so it's over here and how far can we go with that Yeah, there's not much space here. We could move one of them over here. Perfect. So now we have electricity at least here as well. And then we can have the jewelers here. So let's have three for now. I don't know if that is enough. Certainly we'll actually do something. So we now have jewelry as well. Very good. That should increase the happiness of the investors by quite a bit. Your strategy is flawed. And then we also, <laughs> thank you, we also should go for the couch and the coffee. The There's more couch coming in. I think we only have one ship on that trade route. No. Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. Your people are we have three ships on that trade route, okay. That should be fine then, actually. Only our reporting in. Let's get the sails. And another steam machine. Uh, oh no, we have enough there in the in, in the Arctic anyway. Um, I don't think we need anything else, right? For the next airship then. Some sails, perfect. So we have two of them then. We have enough building resources here. So I don't need... Anything else? Just the sails, really. Let's go to the Arctic with that. So we'll be able to build a second airship then and start colonizing this plateau up here. Going to be interesting for sure. Stay tuned. <laughs> 